Greetings, Sagittarius. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I'll be doing your reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Come on in here. I've been away for a little bit. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you for coming back. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell. I'm going to pull an angel number for you, Sagittarius. Then we'll move over to an oracle for your overall energy and then use tarot for understanding and clarification. Spirit, what is Sagittarius's angel number? Mm -hmm. There we have it. All right, Sagittarius, 0220 is your angel number for this week. Act on your idea, Sagittarius. Realistic and practical approach, goals, divine timing, ambition, cooperation, discipline. You have the benefit of good fortune, and if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything, Sagittarius. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern, since what you plant will grow. You're about to experience a spectacular ascent, Sagittarius. 0220, act on your idea. That is your angel number this week. All right, let's go with the Starseed Oracle. All right, Spirit, do tell. What is Sagittarius' overall energy? Ooh, too many. Single card, Spirit. Single card for Sagittarius. Okay. The Cosmic Heart. I just had the Cosmic Heart for Cancer, but in a different deck. All right, Sagittarius, the Cosmic Heart. Devotion, potency, Make your life a moving prayer. This is connecting back to source Sagittarius, to the God of your understanding, to universe, to the oneness of it all. When you cooperate with the universe, the universe cooperates with you Sagittarius. Devotion. Be devoted to what it is you're you're doing. Be devoted to acting on your idea, right? This is beautiful. Okay, let's get some tarot so that we can get understanding and clarification. The lovers, three of wands. Nine of Wands and the Fool. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. Some great energy here for you. The Lovers, Three of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Fool. Definitely, this is acting on your idea, Sagittarius. What idea has been with you for quite some time now that it's something you want to do? You're not sure if you're ready. You're not sure if you have the skills and knowledge to get it done. Spirit is showing up and letting you know with the full, take the leap of faith, Sagittarius. Act on this idea. This is an ambition of yours. Um, you have you have good fortune on your side, especially when you connect to the cosmic heart, to the universal heart energy, right, Sagittarius? So go ahead. Take the leap of faith is what Spirit is telling you. This is... A new beginning for you. This is you acting on that idea. And with the Three of Wands showing up, you're acting on that idea gives you the room to expand, the room to grow. With this new idea, you get to look ahead and start to plan and build the life of your desire with this new idea that you have, Sagittarius, okay? Then we have the lovers. Definitely partner with the cosmic heart. Come into relationship and connection with the cosmic heart, with the universal heart, the God energy source. Connect to that because this, this gives you the ability and the fortitude 
to move ahead with this new idea, with this new journey, expanding your life, creating the life of your destiny, Sagittarius. The lovers is showing up to let you know, connect to source, come into partnership with source and you will be successful. And then here's the nine of wands showing up for you, Sagittarius. You have what it takes. Like I said in the beginning, you were questioning, do you have what it takes? Do you have the gifts, skills, and talents to do what this is, what this is in front of you, this new idea? And spirit is showing up with the nine of wands saying you absolutely have what it takes. You have the resilience. You have the grit to get this done. This is not anything that's easy because if everything was easy, we'd have everything we want. And we know that's not how things go, right? All right. So let's get some more clarification. We've got the Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Let's bring this down a little bit. Six of Pentacles and... Oh, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. With this fool being clarified by the Nine of Swords, what I'm feeling is you know you want to do this. You are you are truly restless with this new idea. This is not a negative restless. This is an anticipation, a little bit of anxiety. In a positive way, if that's a thing. So that's why I say anticipation for you, Sagittarius. Because this this new idea won't let you get proper rest. You you have so many uh, goals. You have you're like mapping out the plan for this new idea, and you're supposed to be sleeping. So it is keeping you up, is what I'm feeling. Okay, Sagittarius. And then with the three of wands being clarified by the seven of swords. I feel like you definitely want to make sure you're you're planning this properly. I'm not seeing this Seven of Swords in a negative manner right now. I'm not feeling that. What I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius, is as you're staying up at night with this anticipation, you need to start writing it down and assessing what steps you have so far for this new idea in order to make sure it comes to fruition, in order to make sure that your ships come in with this three of wands. In this planning phase, you have to write it down. You just can't hold everything in your mind. Holding everything in your mind is calling, causing you to be restless and not get proper sleep because the anticipation is so big. So the seven of swords is it's what I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius. Write it down. Assess what you have so far. Analyze the steps that you want to take with this new idea get control over it and i feel for you sagittarius to gain better control over this new idea you must be you must have it on paper you cannot hold this in your head it's going to drive you wild and you will not get good rest so then we have the eight of cups clarifying the lovers and this is where i was telling you to come in partnership with the universe with source with the god of your understanding connecting your heart chakra back to the oneness of it all and with the eight of cups i'm feeling like as you do that as you connect back to source you are moving in the direction of success sagittarius with this eight of cups that's what i'm feeling for you you're moving into the energy of abundance and you're moving toward uh, power and material wealth when you connect to the oneness of it all. That's what I'm definitely feeling for you, Sagittarius. And then we have the Six of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of Wands. And as I already stated, you absolutely can do this. You are resilient. You have the grit, the fortitude to get this done. And then we have the Six of Pentacles showing up. And this is clarifying clarifying the Nine of Wands for you, Sagittarius. And what I'm feeling from this is as you connect back to the cosmic heart and move toward success and abundance and power, here's the material wealth showing up for you because the universe always answers. The universe conspires to see you win. So this is reciprocity. This is infinite possibility. This is infinite 
uh, material wealth here with the Six of Pentacles for you, Sagittarius. This, this is beautiful. This is showing success on a level that you yourself can't even believe. I feel like I want to look at the bottom of the deck on here. Absolutely. And I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck on, on this one. Yes. Okay, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is again, again with the three of cups. This is community. This is connection. This is celebration as well, right? This is pure joy because you've come into community with the cosmic heart, with the oneness of it all, with source. I mean, it bears repeating. Spirit is saying, act on your idea and how you do that and how you get support, spiritual support, high vibrant uh, support, high frequency support is connecting back to source, right? And here's your spiritual team letting you know they are always there for you to support and guide you when you ask for their help, Sagittarius. And then we have the high priestess showing up for you in your reading. This is spirituality. This is high frequency vibration. This is connecting back to source. And when you connect to source, you your intuition grows. Your inner wisdom open up opens up your soul's wisdom starts to begin to be released to you right you understand the divine truth of your entire plan and and how your idea is to unfold for you Sagittarius this is all pointing to yes that new idea that has been keeping you up at night with anticipation. I feel all positive energy here. You're moving towards that abundance and success and power with that eight of cups. You're analyzing, you're writing down your plan, making it plain. You don't keep it in your head because you need to rest. The task in front of you is arduous, so you need your strength. Sagittarius, this is a beautiful reading. Go ahead, act on that idea because the time, the divine timing is showing up for you right now. You are going to win. You are going to succeed. You are going to accomplish what you set out to do with this new idea. Get going.